Hi, I'm Olivia, and I'm the Witch of Wonderlust. In this video, I am talking about pendulums. This one has also been highly requested, and I love, I love pendulums. I love using pendulums. I think that they are very easy to come by, very easy to make. They're very versatile, and you can use them in your craft at any point you want. As long as you don't have a super witchy pendulum, you can actually do this pretty low key too. So pendulums are great. I've used them for years and they are very versatile. So let's get into that. I'm drinking a Black Dragon Pearl by Kucha. My friend Matt actually brought that to me. Thanks Matt, it's delicious. Also, a lot of you are in my DMs asking about where my rings. This is a mood ring I got from a metaphysical store. This, I can't remember for the life of me where I got. My mom got this for me when I was like 14 and I've never taken it off. This is a hematite ring that I also got at my metaphysical store. This one I actually found on the ground somewhere. This one was one of my mom's. This ring and my zodiac earrings are from Ana Luisa and at least with that one, I can give you a link because all the other ones I have not, I don't really actually know where they came from. This is a Howlite necklace. This was a gift. If you are interested in at least my ring or my earrings, there's actually a link down below and there's a discount code for you. So at least I can help you out there. Now into the video. So first off, for those of you who aren't familiar, what is a pendulum? At the very basis, at the root of what a pendulum is, it's basically just a weighted object on some kind of string or chain. So this could be a necklace, this could be a ring on a chain or a string, it could be something that you found or it could be something that you bought. So you'll see a lot of pendulums are made out of crystal, some believe that that has a certain kind of energy and it kind of affects the reading. So, you know, if you were doing a love reading, then you would probably use rose quartz. Or if you're doing something with psychic connection or something about dreams, then maybe you're using an amethyst. No, you do not have to have a plethora of pendulums for all different kinds of readings. I, I don't think that that's necessary at all, but some do believe that it has more of an effect. So if you are doing something like love readings, then you would want a rose quartz because it would vibrate that frequency or whatever that may be. What is a pendulum used for? Mainly they're used for yes or no answers. Whatever you may believe, it can be from your higher self, from deities, from ancestors, from spirits. So you can use this for spirit communication, but just like a spirit board, the spirit is not included. Personally, I like to use my pendulum for little decisions because I'm a very indecisive person. I will use it to decide where to eat that day or if I should get tea or coffee. <laughs> of course, I use it other ways as well. The pendulum that I currently have, sometimes I will bring with me if I know that I'm going to be making a lot of decisions that day because apparently I'm still not a full adult. Then it goes into the question of how does a pendulum work? There are a lot of different beliefs on how or what makes a pendulum work. The general idea is that when you are holding your pendulum, there is a vibration or a frequency that goes through your arm, down the chain, and into the pendulum that makes it swing a certain way. This idea is that it could be your heartbeat, it could be your subconscious that slowly makes it swing, or if you are working with any kind of spirits, then maybe the spirit is influencing that frequency and the energy around the pendulum, and in return making it swing a specific way. It can go from anywhere between it's your heartbeat, it's your subconscious, it's the spirits, it's higher self, Whatever you may believe, I think pendulums are still pretty cool. Okay, so how to use a... What? How to use a pendulum. To start, you want to cleanse it, especially the first time you get it. I don't cleanse my pendulum all the time. I only usually cleanse it if I just did a super heavy reading with it, or if I took it out and about and it came into contact with a bunch of different things and it wasn't just in my hands, or if I just feel like the readings are just wonky and weird, I'll usually cleanse it, but I don't have like a ritual that I cleanse it every day, after every use, before every use, every week. But if that's something that you feel like that you want to do with your pendulum, go for it. Some like to charge their pendulums, it's totally up to you if you want to do that. How to hold your pendulum however you're comfortable with. Some people will hold it like this. Personally, I will hold it draped over my hand like so. I like to rest my elbow somewhere so that I don't feel like I'm moving my elbow around a lot and then shifting the pendulum, but I've seen people read it just straight into the air, so just find whatever is most comfortable for you when you start reading with your pendulum. Now to start off with using it, you kind of want to program your pendulum because some pendulums and some people get different answers for yes and different answers for no. So when I hold mine, you want to ask it, show me yes, and then it'll start swinging one way. So I think, oh, this is yes. And then after a little bit, I'll say, okay, show me no. And then it'll start swinging the other way. And then I know that that is no. You wanna just make sure that the pendulum is giving you correct answers. So then I would say, is my name Olivia? And 
hopefully it would go yes. And then I would say, am I blonde? And hopefully it would say no. I don't have anywhere to put my elbow, so it's probably just like swinging all over the place. For my pendulum, it will stay still when it's in a resting position. For some people, it will swing in a circle. For some people, yes is a circle, no is a circle. So figure out what your pendulum says. So after you've asked it a few basis questions, is this the color of my hair? Did I drink Kucha cha tea this morning? You know, just some base line questions and once you feel like that it's giving you correct answers then you can go in and ask your actual questions do not be highly caffeinated while you do this because you will shake <laughs> so there are different kinds of charts that you can use for your pendulum this i will link down below if i can find it this is a very good pendulum book so you'll see that it says yes this way and no this way so i would be having this flat holding the pendulum over, and then I can say show me yes, whichever way it programmed to swing yes. Now, that is a basic chart. There are so many charts and so many ways that you can use these. It's really, really cool. All you have to do basically is draw a circle. The point in the middle is kind of the, the resting point unless yours swings. Then you can write the alphabet all the way around or the zodiac signs, the months in the year or numbers. So you can use this almost like a spirit board if you wanted for something to spell things out. One of the fun ways is that when you draw the circle, you can write little oracles. So it's kind of like using oracle tarot cards, or if you have a couple different tarot cards, you can lay those out and see which one it swings to. I actually use my pendulum with my tarot cards sometimes. I don't know which one to pick. I will use my pendulum. What piece of this should I take as my advice? I can go over each card and see which card I have the highest reaction to. <clears throat> one of the very common ways to use a pendulum as well is to find a lost object. So just like tarot, the pendulum can be as sacred or as casual as you want it to be in your craft. I use mine in both ritualistic ways and in casual ways. So that's pretty much all this is. Pretty quick video. I hope that you enjoyed that. If you have any books or have created any charts, I would love to see them. Share that on Instagram with the hashtag WonderlustCoven so that everybody can see them and I can interact and I can even share them on my story. I have made printables, so if you want to check those out, they are in the link below. If you want to join the online community of the Wonderlust Coven, just go ahead and hit subscribe and that's all you have to do. But other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you out. And please do, if you do make any kind of pendulum charts or you create your own pendulum or buy a really pretty pendulum, I would love to see it. Share with the community, again, that hashtag WonderlustCoven on Instagram. I would love to see it. And other than that, as always, I will see you in the next one. Best of luck. Be kind to each other. And may your gods treat you as you've treated others. Bye.